I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, now it's time to test these four Samsung 2400 milliamp hour 18650s I harvested from this HP laptop pack. So if you didn't watch the harvesting video, um, two of the cells, the one in the center, the, the uh, center um, pair in the pack, their CIDs were both tripped. Um, they were both popped open, so the cells were open circuit, and you couldn't measure um, boards across the pack. So the computer most likely would not even work at all with the battery pack. But these four cells measure good voltage, so we're going to test them out and see how they do. First, we'll test to see what their internal resistance is in milliohms <clears throat> using the quick test function on this charger. Pop these in there. So we're less than 200. Um, now the thing is with this charger, sometimes the internal resistance rating, readings aren't exactly the most accurate. Do it again and see what it does this time. Because yeah, sometimes you don't get the best connection between these spring-loaded terminals. So we're looking at between 140 to 160 milliohms of resistance. So I mean, it's not as it's not as bad as some other cells I've gotten. Matter of fact, um, some of my cells in in operation right now are measuring close to 200. Um, some are even more than that, but. Um, Generally, a good value is below 100, but to, below 200 is not terribly bad for for uh, <clears throat> low current draw use. And of course, these are low draw cells. What I'm going to do now is we're going to charge them up to 4.2 volts, and we will then um, discharge them and see what we get. So before going uh, actually going any further with this. Um, I forgot to mention, um, whenever you harvest cells like this, it's important to pull up the, the uh, data sheets and look at the uh, information about the cell. I did do that with the other cells I harvested, um, but I didn't actually show the data sheet or information right on the camera. Um, but with these cells, um, first thing I'm going to do is, see I don't know exactly when the uh, these were manufactured, so first thing I'm going to do is uh, look up the manufacturing dates. Sanyo, hang on. So SDI. Let me see. Uh, hmm. Interesting. I'm keying exactly as it is on the cell. You've got the uh, SDI, and then below that you got the uh, six seven five. Okay, so I'm going to have to look into how to determine the uh, dates on these. I'm going to I'm going to assume 2012, 2013, maybe a little newer, I don't know for sure. Um, I'd have to look up and see what model of laptop this uh, battery actually fit. It's a series HSTNN-CB05 or CB05. Um, however, um, this is the information on the cells that we have. There are 24 mAh power cells. They have a they're, they're rated for 4.2 volt max charge. So, some of my cells are actually like, for example, these LGs. 
actually are rated for 4.35 volts. Now most of the cells you come across are just 4.2 volts, which is pretty much the standard. But every once in a while you'll come across cells that are um, um, rated for 4.35 volts. And I think those cells are actually marketed as 3.8 volt lithium ions. I can't say for certain on that. But anyways, so we know, we now know the, the max charge, 4.2 volts, which is typical. So back to the charger. What we're going to do now is we'll start the charge. And we'll let these charge up. And if I notice any issues, of course I'll update here in the video once I notice anything going on with them. Okay, buddy, so these four cells charge up just fine. No issues whatsoever. They're not even warm. And that's how much they, uh, they took. And that's how much time it took. A little over three hours. That's the resting voltage. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and discharge these and see what we can get out of them. And what we'll do is we'll discharge them at one amp each. And we'll see what we get as far as capacity goes. Okay everybody, so these cells just finished the discharge and the results are less than spectacular. Look at the voltages that they're resting at first. Cell 1 and cell 2 are resting at 3.94, cell 3 and cell 4 are resting at 3.8 and 3.81 respectively. That's not very good. Um, this charger I found out because I was watching it. This charger actually terminates at 2.8 volts. And usually my better cells, um, when they were subjected to this charger's discharge test, um, usually they'll rebound to about, I don't know, 3.2 to 3.4 volts, something like that. Not 3.94 and 3.8 and 3.81. Now let's go and have a look at this. That's what we got out of these things. One and two did absolutely terrible. 450 and 458 milliamp hours. You know, these cells are rated for 2400 from the factory. It's brand new. Cell three and cell four. Um, also not very spectacular. And, uh, yeah. So... And that's how long it took for these to um, discharge. As you can see, these discharged from full from full to nothing in just shy of a half hour. These took just less than an hour. So, not very impressive. So it looks like these will be getting recycled. Um, I will actually charge them back up and see how much I can put into them, and I might repeat the uh, discharge cycle and see if I get anything different. However, from the way it's looking right now, these cells are not going to be keepers. Okay, so we're almost done with the charge cycle, and yeah, not very good. <laughs> these cells, are, they're about done. Um, I'm going up this charge on these here in a bit, but I need my charger to charge some other batteries. So, I'm going to call it for these cells. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're getting recycled too. So, um, yeah. <laughs> They're they worn out. But at least these didn't get hot uh, during charge. It's just these are just, they're worn out. Kind of like some of the cells I have right now that are in my collection 
Uh, they're getting worn out and I'm looking to replace them. So, anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that's it for this video. But don't forget, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the channel to check out. Also, if this is your first time visiting this channel, feel free to subscribe to keep your channel. And also, don't forget to tick the bell so that way you'll get notified of new video posts. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. But if you really didn't like it, there is the alternative option available as well. Also, feel free to check out my second channel, CubeComp MTDX. There you'll find videos about bicycling, weather, elevator tours, and all sorts of other neat, interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to come back and thank you for your support.